start off with thinking of Halloween colors. Uh, I chose sort of a fall, autumn kind of range of colors um, since it is almost November. Um, so you just want to trim all your stems really short, about two inches, three inches. And if the stems are something kind of fragile, um, then you want to wire and tape them first. Um, so most of the stuff that I have here doesn't need to be wired, but the vernaculus does and the lithiumphus does. So I'll just show you. Short and then insert the wire into a hardy, sort of thicker part of the stem. So it goes halfway through, bend it down, and then you will roll tape. Kind of flowers we're using today, um, good to pick like a mixture of textures and colors, um, some sort of greenery, some actual blooms. Uh, so we've got uh, ranunculus, uh, spray roses, daisy eucalyptus, uh, lithianthus, rose hips, brumia, brazilia, uh, sort of mini leucodendrons, and some ruscus. So um, we're going to make a crown that. Uh, around and then tie the back which is good for an adjustable um, crown. So you want to leave about a foot of ribbon on each end so that you have room to you know, put, put the half of ribbon out so you have room to tie it and there's a little bit of um, a little bit of a tie that hangs down a little bit of streamer. Um, so you sort of foot and then you want to measure the circumference of your head so you know uh, how much ribbon you're going to need to go around and then whatever's left on the other end. So you can either even that up or you could just um, make it so that kind of shorter or you can just um, make the other side a little bit longer. Okay. Make it even. Um, and you're going to take a piece of, um, you can use 16 gauge or 18 gauge roll wire. And you're going to put it right at the end, sort of where you want the crown to end, where the end's going to tie around. Um, use some coral tape. The wire just helps the, the crown be a little bit more sturdy um, when you're done. Hold sort of heavier flowers. I don't have anything too heavy here today, but if you were wanting to use bigger roses or bigger flowers, it's good to have something that's good to have the sturdiness. Just like that. Now the wire is attached to the ribbon. Um, Sometimes it's a good idea to lay out your crown before you start attaching flowers, just so you know that you have enough flowers and you know what sort of pattern you want to use. Um, so I'm just going to do kind of like a mixture of all of them. So just sort of starting, sort of lay it out, so you know kind of what type of pattern you want. Unless you just want to. So I have more than enough flowers here, I just did not actually, so um, you know that you're going to have enough. So you can kind of just step forward a little bit. You can get started. So you might want to try starting with a piece of greenery or something that's kind of going to go over the edge so that you don't really see the very end of the tape there.
you also want to keep in mind that um, one side is going to go against your head, so um, you don't want to put flowers really on the back side. You're going to have a back side and a front side. So just remember that this is the side that you're going to see when you wear. This that you think are going to be too short, you can always, on their own, you can always um, tape a couple together, make a piece of wire, wind it around, fold them together, and then use your tape. Like creating a fake stem. Make sure that you align this so that you don't end up with not enough ribbon at the end. So it starts winding around the wire. Green, piece of tape is all spread out. If you've never used floral tape before, um, you just have to remember to pull it and then it gets stickier once you pull it out and that's what keeps things taut and tight when you're taping them together. You just want to be careful with something that has a really weak stem like ranunculus and really thin stems or they're, they're just kind of hollow. So that's why we wired them to begin with and even though they're wired you kind of just want to be careful when you're twisting them in so you don't want to hit you don't have to tape all the way to the end, like I still have stuff sticking out here from other ones that I put in there. Um, because if you did, then you'd have these big gaps, so you want to make sure that you're um, putting things in. If you wanted to get really fancy when you're uh, wiring the flowers, like the ranunculus, you could use a tiny little piece of wet tissue paper, wet paper towel, um, and that would give a little bit of moisture to, to work with, just if you're worried or if it's going to be really hot out. Or... You want to wear like eight hours or something. <laughs> Every once in a while you kind of want to like stop and look at it, point it towards you so you can kind of see what it's going to look like, kind of picture. And eventually, obviously, we're going to bend this ribbon to form to your, or bend, sorry, the wire to form to your head. Um, so it's not going to stay straight, but you get a better idea of what it's going to look like if you hold it up every once in a while. You also don't have to make it go all the way around. I mean, you could just do like a little front part so it's just on your head like that. Um, and instead of having it go all the way to the back of the front, I might stop at one point and measure this and see how far it goes around. To stomp or keep going. You can kind of do whatever you want. And you can do ones that are just one little chunk of flowers, so you kind of got a ribbon that's just one chunk off the side. There's no rules. See, you can see the back of it is all not quite as straight as the front is. You could also use this technique. I've seen a lot of um, vlogs or wedding photos where um, when people want to have dogs, dogs or cats or pets or whatever in their wedding um, ceremony, you could make like a collar for a doggy. The good thing about using small flowers like this is often they either come more than one bunch on a, on a stem, or sorry, more than one bloom on a stem. So it's a little more cost efficient that way to use flowers like that. And you can always, if it starts to sort of twist around, you can always just twist it out. See? 
All these flowers have fairly thin stems, which makes it easier because then they, they bend a little easier. Like they sort of see how this one is going, sort of also right angle, it's, it's bending and then coming away like that. So it, it's uh, helpful to use things that will do that and won't snap. to something that you can get to have a bit of a tail so that you don't see the very ends of things. So I'm going to trim all this down. I still have some wire left over here, so I'm just going to trim that down. So, there you have a flower crown, and then you can, I want to bend and shape it a little bit before you try to stick it on your head. And then, like that. And you just tie it on. You can wear them like straight across your forehead like this. You could move it up and wear it kind of more on the top like that. Make sure you have somebody trim the ties in the back to make sure they're even. And there you go. Mm -hmm.